Today we spawn or instantiate scene nodes, or in short, it's payday. This is the main scene from our character controller series, see playlist and description. Today we spawn this shiny coin here into our world scene. The aim is to learn something about instantiating scenes, or scene nodes, because everything is a scene. And attach them to other scenes, and, well, uh, I don't need any reason, it's fun. So we go back to our world scene and we attach a script. We pick world GD, that's fine, the empty template and create that. And in here we put in a few lines of code. First we load our coin scene. We have our ready function, what we call a new function called spawn and we create a function spawn with nothing in it right now. And our spawn function basically contains these two lines of code where we call this spawn object that we have preloaded here with the scene and we ask it to instantiate. We save that instance in our object variable and then we add this object variable to our current node, which is the spatial, which is the world. So we add the coin that we loaded from the scene into our world. We save that and we run that. Then we will, well, we will not see something unless we change the camera view. We go back to this and pick the camera from the player. Where is my camera? The camera is right here. Let's move that up and back a little bit and we can also say we rotate it down and we run all of that again. And where is the coin? Where is the coin? The coin is, unfortunately, I think the coin is, let's go back to the script. The coin is actually in a weird place in the floor. So we should do object translation and just change its position uh, we make a vector three and where do we put it uh, let's say one z one and then y maybe three so it's standing up from the floor a little bit and let's run that and then we can see the coin just appearing next to the player and that's fine we have one coin so back to our script, we now want to make a change to have a random position. Instead of always spawning it at this place, I want to have a random spawn at a random place. So let's pick a random function. This function requires a random number generator. So we're going to place this uh, random as a random number generator. That's a class that Godot provides us and we create a new one of that. We use this random to randomize first and then generate a X, a Y and a Z value out of a random number. We use a variable called size that we give it as a parameter. And we basically take half of that size plus and minus to give it a range for X and a range for Z. For Y, the altitude, we pick something between 1, well above the floor, up to 10, where the coin can basically fall down. We return a vector 3 to the caller. And so now here, we call, instead of a fixed position, we call get random position. And for picking a good value, we can basically look at what object we want to spawn on. Now that's the platform. We know the platform has 50 in width and in depth, so that's what we want to use, 50. Now we save that, we run that, and we get a random spawn somewhere. We don't always see it. We try that a bit. Oh, here it is. We have our randomly positioned coin. And finally, I want lots of coins. So not just one, but many. So I'm just putting in a for loop that generates a spawn number of coins. So I need to have a variable spawn number. And let's say I set that to a thousand. I also want to export that so I can actually see it here. 
when I switch back to the world, I can, when I click on this, I can see my spawn object here because I have an exported variable here for the spawn object, but I can also see a spawn number that I can manipulate, which is kind of handy. Okay, and now when I run this, then I should see a lot of coins and here we go. If this was helpful, well, like, subscribe and do your thing and mind yourself and see you soon.